Have you ever had a live guest whose internet wasn't the best? Or maybe you wanted to pull a clip from a show of yourself or a guest, but you don't want any of the show graphics or comments. I'm listening. Your mind is racing right now with possibilities, and I want to confirm the answer is yes. Wow. Local recording in StreamYard means you can get a high-quality recording local to the host or guest machine that is uploaded and made available to you for both recorded interviews and live shows. I need that. Kirk Nugent here, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today, today, we're looking at local records in StreamYard, plus a little bonus, dark mode. Let's go. So here we are on StreamYard dashboard and you can see the dark mode has been enabled. And again, we'll get to that at the end of our video. So here, in order to do some of the local recording or to take advantage of this feature, we're gonna demo this in two different ways. First, by creating a new broadcast. And instead of doing live stream, we're gonna show that in a second, we're gonna to go to recording. When we go to recording, we can set our title and we can check this box that says record locally for each participant. And if you hover your mouse over this question mark, you can see record separate audio and video files on each user's device. Even if someone has weak connection, the recordings won't be blurry or choppy. Useful if you need to do post-production editing. We'll, all, we'll also still create a cloud recording so you get all of the above. We're gonna show that in just a second. So we would simply check this box put your title in and create the recording. I've already gotten, have one created. So let's go to that. Here we are now in the system. We have this here created and we have my camera on screen along with the camera from uh, my laptop, which is on the other side of the studio on screen as well. So myself and a guest in the system. So we have both of those in the system. The only additional thing I wanna add here and several people uh, that I've seen cover this particular feature have not shared this. When you add another camera to the system, so to be clear, the two cameras on screen right now, one is me, one is my camera, one is a camera from a guest from my laptop, which is on the other side of the studio. And so what I'm gonna do right now is add an extra camera from the extra camera feature and we can share that into the system, add that to the screen. So now we have three cameras, two cameras connected to my local system, one camera connected to my guests system. And I wanna show you that StreamYard will record all three. And you're gonna be thinking about this in terms of ISO recordings, uh, repurposing, so many different things you can do with this, y'all. Like think about this in terms of workflow and, and they are recording locally and they're uploading after the fact. How do I know that? Because on the side of our screen here, we have comments, banners, brand, private chat, and now recording. I'm gonna zoom in on that just a little bit. Recording, this is new. So I'm clicking on recording. You can see it says recording hasn't started yet, but all of your details for recording will be in this space. So with that said, let's go ahead and record. So we're gonna say record. It's gonna queue up a little bit. And now we are recording. Now we are recording. And so it, you can see that it says here, please ask all guests to stay in the studio until their recordings are done uploading. And to be clear, the guests also can see this particular message. In fact, I'm gonna switch screens to show my laptop, which is in as a guest real quick. There you can see we're in, I'm, I'm looking at my laptop screen. The, the dark mode's not enabled over there. And you can see the same screen over there. It's also saying to them, stay in the studio while your video is being uploaded. Let's go back to my screen where dark mode is enabled. You can tell the difference between the two. And so we would just go ahead and do whatever we're doing. We're at 49 seconds, 50 seconds. We're gonna end this right at 60 seconds so that we can show you what the rest of this looks like. Three, two, one. <laughs> end recording, end recording. So now the recording is ended. Broadcast is ended. We can click there and you'll see 76% finalizing upload. Let's go back to my guest screen. It says the same thing over there. Upload is still 
it's still happening. Um, and then at a certain point, it will come back and tell them that the upload is complete and a little duck shows on screen. You can probably see that a little better on my screen. Upload complete. All recordings have successfully uploaded. You can now safely leave the studio. So that is the process for local recording. And I wanna show you real quick, even for a live broadcast, right? So this is a live broadcast. I have this scheduled to do Amazon Live a little bit later today. Um, even in a live broadcast, you can still enable the recording feature, right? So then, and if you're looking at the screen right now, you're noticing that the recording icon is not here. You've got comments, banners, brand, private chat. The recording icon is not there. If we come down here to settings, come to settings, you have a whole feature here, a whole item called recording. So we click on that and we simply check this box saying record, and you can decide if you wanna just record audio, but of course I would wanna record both, record audio and video, and you can select this and then it basically opens up that feature like we now we have the recording feature here and we have the same essential same exact settings as we would have had um, for a local record so whether you're going to go live or you're just recording into the studio you can enable the local recording and get that good high quality video but to be clear this is going to when you do it live this will also record your broadcast and you will still have that available along with the uploaded locally recorded videos as well. Let's take a look at that by going back over to our recording. And here we have the option to just go and view recordings. Now, uh, to do this the manual way, you would simply just come right here to the dashboard, go into videos, and this I option right here is the local record test. We can click in there and we would have that but I did want to use this button since it's here uh, and it's new view recordings. We click on that. It opens up that particular video. I'm going to pause the video from playing. This is the quote unquote original recording. This is what we have on top original recording, but we also have the, the guest recording and then my recording, which includes both cameras. So I'm actually going to click the download all button, right? So the guest camera, is, is over here. And then my two cameras that I added to the system are both here. I'm gonna just say download all. Hopefully those download fairly quickly so that we can actually show you what those look like. But you have access to the full recording with all three cameras on screen. The way that you broadcast it or the way that you recorded it, you have access to that as well right here. So now I'm gonna just open up my desktop and I have these three local recordings one two three so I'm, let's let's try these out so here is a recording of my back can't think of it, behind the scenes camera that's one and then if i hit the down arrow this is a recording iso of my primary camera this camera in front of me and then i hit the down arrow and this is a recording of my camera on the other side of the studio from my laptop that is in StreamYard as a guest and that's actually a really high quality recording the thing to be mindful of is that this particular video will have audio along with your guests video will have audio but the shared camera that you bring into the system will not have audio so keep that in mind but we have all three of these videos and we also have the ability to download this primary video here from the system that is awesome like who knew from a local recording option we would also get iso from Streamyard. here's a bonus dark mode no it's not a new feature from Streamyard, but it is possible with this handy chrome extension but first let me show you why dark mode is helpful when you've set up your lighting just right but then enter Streamyard, which is basically a bright white screen, you will see that light on your face on camera. And for all my four eyes out there, right? AKA glasses wearers, it's a further annoyance because that light can create a glare where there was none. Why Streamyard hasn't built in a dark mode is a mystery, but here are a few steps to solve this problem for you. Go to chrome.google.com slash web store. We'll put that link in the description as well. Once they are searched for dark reader, dark reader, it should be the first option that comes up, click on it. And once on the extension page, click the blue button in the top right that says add to Chrome. You'll get a dialog box in the middle of the screen where you'll want to select add extension. 
Once added, you'll be taken to the Dark Reader page where you can choose to donate or you can just close it. But here's a quick tip. Be sure to pin the extension to your Chrome so you can easily access it on sites you'll want to turn dark. When you click on the extension, you'll get a small drop down dialogue and at the top, you'll see the website you're on and the options of on and off. For StreamYard, simply select on and you'll see that all the screens, dashboard, videos, destinations, members, even the broadcast studio and all its screens, including settings, are now all dark. Use this to eliminate that additional light from your screen caused by all that white on StreamYard.com or whatever website you may have open while streaming. Learn more about StreamYard and live streaming from these videos.